Well, 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 the army of robots and AI and drones is ganging up on us. It's the year 2021. How will we fare with these agendas? Now, I'm going to tell you about this autonomous drone airport that they got, that they're unveiling. And also, I got to get you into not just that, but the drones are dropping something strange out of the atmosphere. And if you didn't watch this last video I did, it was about um, them actually wanting to ban the guns for investigation. But more importantly, it was when I walked outside and I didn't know what was recording me. And then all of a sudden, I see things pop up in my feed out of nowhere. Like a lot of people on here said, I read a lot of your stories and comments and I like to hear more. So let's get into it, everybody. What am I talking about? A new autonomous drone airport. We'll get into that. But first, they want to merge systems now into fusion systems, fusing all of it. Big Brother, the spying tech, everything as a centralized system. I'm glad notifications went out because the last one it didn't go out. So you probably didn't even get that one. So, but anyway, Big Brother is spying in thousands of ways. All that info is now goes into centralized fusion systems. It says, sadly, most people don't realize how extensive the surveillance grid has now become as you drop to work or school to license plate readers are systematically tracking where you are in travel. In major cities, thousands of highly advanced security cameras, many equipped with facial recognition and vein recognition. I was just looking up a report yesterday, we were talking about vein recognition. So cover your veins, everybody. Go look it up yourself after this video, I bet you. Have you looked it up? Well, they already could recognize your veins and everything. If authorities detect that you are doing something suspicious, they can quickly pull your criminal financial and medical records. Of course, if they want to dig deeper, your phone and computer are constantly producing treasure trove surveillance data. So now they're saying they have a few, it's a fusion system. They are spying. And I told you the other day, I don't know what hurt me, but there's so much technology around us that it's really crazy and they want me to subscribe so I'm definitely not about to do that. Let's go back down into this one. In the past, compiling all information would take a great deal of time, but now tech giants such as Microsoft, Motorola, Cisco, Palantir are selling fusion systems to the governments all over the planet. These fusion systems can instantly integrate surveillance data from thousands of different sources and this has totally transformed how law enforcement conduct in many of our largest cities. So. These fusion systems now are becoming way more advanced. And what is the drones dropping out of the sky? I'm about to get into that here in a few. But first, the first autonomous airport has been unveiled. What do y'all think about this one right here? The world's smallest airport to be built for autonomous drones has already been built. And they basically have autonomous drones coming in. Auto everything autonomous, an AI airport pretty much. They've unveiled this thing, it's here. It's happening. I mean, this ain't sci-fi anymore. This is reality. It's like, you see drones flying by going to the airport. Oh, hey. Oh, never mind. Nobody's in there. So anyway, going down, airports have a reputation for being enormous uh, nightmares, it says, especially when you're uh, checking your gate of departure <laughs> to end up at the same overpriced store again. However, more exper experimental airport is now underway in UK of all places. Unfortunately, it won't be for humans. Its relative size is that of a postage stamp compared to the uh, likes of Charles D. Galoo, however, says instead it's for drones. So now they're going to pull out the drones and they're going to have a drone airport. It's, it's already here. And the crazy thing is, is that they're dropping small particles from these drones. I don't know if you've heard of this, but I'm going to take you into it. Here's World Economic Forum. The UK is building the world's first airport for flying cars. If there's any trolls in the comments, get them out of there. The UK is building the world's first airport for flying. And it goes and says, a pop-up airport for electric flying taxis will be oper in operation later this year uh, the UK city of Coventry. The market for electric air taxes could be worth 500 billion in the U.S. alone. So they are ready to get it to come to the U.S. as well. So 
this is what they're doing now in the newer parts of the year. Now, I found something strange because I said, I was being listened to. I walked out, me and my lady, we both made a test that we already seen that they literally can hear you from something in the atmosphere, whether it's a cell tower, whether it's you know, satellites dropping something. The newer ones, they say, can see crystal clear, crystal clear, whether it's something in the environment People said a uh, nano smart dust and everything else that possibly could be, but I was looking at more of a complex issue. I don't believe it's that with me. I don't believe I've been infiltrated like that because I have certain things that we use, like you know, nascent and stuff like that, to expel all these different toxic lead and everything else that's in the atmosphere. But obviously, I get it. Smart dust would be a little bit more complex, but you could do. This listen to this article right here that just came out. Using drones to create local quantum networks. And they talk about how the drones are actually dropping small pieces of particles to then create this network that I didn't even know anything about. So I'm gonna take you into this. Not only are they unveiling the world's autonomous drone airports, because we're going into the basically Orwell world, if you can be here from every corner when you're walking out. Maybe we have to go out a little further though. That's another thing we talked about. It says the beams from one drone are visible over the testing area. So they technically send some beams out. These beams are quantum networks. These quantum networks drop particles and I'll read it to you. The team of research is affiliated with several institutions in China has used drones to create a prototype of small airborne quantum network. In their paper published in the journal of Physical Review Letters, the researchers described sending entangled particles from one drone to another, from a drone to the ground. So, entangled particles, they're dropping that in the atmosphere. So it's not just smart dust, they're now dropping quantum network entangled particles, and we can read even further into it. How is that affecting the human body? That's what I want to know. What do you think the effects on that would be? Thank you so much for the work you do, no doubt. So much as I've been recording the drones flying over the house. J W, hope you don't mind me sharing the sounds. Sound minds on YouTube every Sunday. Three solutions on exactly how to handle the, the fraud, I think he says. Share it, definitely. Everybody live right now, share it out. If you want to, share it on your Facebook, share it on YouTube, share it everywhere. People need to know about this stuff. Now, I want to get a study into what is the human effects of this. Now let's read it. Computer scientists, physicists, engineers have been working over the last several years towards building a usable quantum network. Doing so would involve sending entangled particles between users and the result would be the most secure network ever. Made as part of the effort, researchers have sent entangled particles over fiber, fiber cables between towers and even from satellites to the ground. In this new effort, researchers have added a new element, drones. To build a long-range quantum network, satellites appear to be the ideal solution, but for a smaller networks such as for communications between users in the same city, another option is needed. While towers can be of some use, they are subject to weather and blockage, intentional or otherwise. To get around this problem, researchers use drones to carry signals. The work is involved building a small laser-generated device, affixing it to one of the drones as it's fired Photons were split into two creating entangled pairs. One of the pair of photons were directed towards another drone, while the other one was directed to the ground station. The drone that received the entangled photon, which is the particles that they're dropping, served only as a relay after refocus the photon forward to a third drone, which then sent it to second ground station. Motorized devices were used on the drones to ensure transmitters received lined up and properly for transmission of entangled photons. So this is what they're dropping now. So you, got, you don't just got the autonomous airport where they're gonna fly that around. You got them also doing that too. And and here's another crazy thing. Instead of instead of brain chipping people, well they could just put the human cells inside of the brain chip. That's what they're doing right here. Scientists are weaving human brain cells into microchips. So instead of putting it in your head, they're putting the cells in the chip. So it's getting really strange out here. And like I told you, to focus our energy field into an area where we combat this thing daily, spiritually, uh, mentally, and in every way possible, 
is what we need to do because it's getting to a point to where you know they want to use a system. And I, I did a video the other day talking about how they, they want to put these ring looking things on your finger and it's able to gather energy from the human itself and say they say they can power lights from your body even though we know we're energetic makeup but anyway let's read more into this brain jack it's not unusual for artificial intelligence developers to create inspiration from the human brain when designing their algorithms or the circuitry they run on but now the project is taking the biological inspiration a step further scientists from england Aston University are physically integrating human brain stem cells into AI microchips, according to university press release. The goal, scientists say, is to push the boundaries of AI can do by barring some of the human brain processing capabilities. So they're they're saying they're they're already merging. And here's a photo of it. You deserve. They're merging the brain chips with the AI, I mean, not the brain chips, with the human cells with the AI. I mean, it's just, just, just wild, really. It's really wild. And somebody says, who are they? They, I just said who they were. These are some scientific researchers and scientists have started work on their project. Uh, who, where, where are the scientists from? It says an international collaboration led by researchers at Aston University. So that's who they are. Has been awarded 3.5, look like euros, million euros to show how neurons in the brain information process. So that's who they are. The question is, what are they going to do from there? The research team is now embarking on a three year study to demonstrate how human brain stem cells can grow on a microchip can be taught to solve problems from data laying the foundation for a paradigm shift in machine learning technology. So they're basically saying that we want to take some human cells and we want to show you how putting these cells inside of this can change machine learning, which would change the AI data learning, which would change the whole makeup of the system, analytical data, watching you and surveilling you every single day and now putting the human makeup into it to then create the so-called paradigm shift that they're saying right there. Wow. The way to combat this, it says the use of AI is becoming ever more prevalent in areas diverse as healthcare, finance, autonomous vehicles, speech recognition, where they can steal your voice and then say, well, that was you who called. No, it wasn't you who called. And you're like, well, it sounds like you. Well, it ain't me. Well, you're going down and then they got you with the voice systems and stuff like that because they can already mimic your voice. But right through to recommending films through on-demand services. Here they are with the recommendations, because I already got the recommendation I was telling you about. Recommending films through on-demand service like Netflix, the big four tech companies, Apple, Google, Amazon, and Facebook, and many others are investigating heavily in machine learning to tailor their products and better understand their customers. They want to understand you so much, so they want to understand what you want to do next. They want to understand what you do before you do it. Basically, the minority report system, but this is what we're dealing with right now. She's got a whole face. She's got a whole face. So, I just wanted to put that out real quick. And this is what I want to be watching for. I want to now, what I want to do is, that's not what I'm saying, but what I want to do is, if you see some drones or something like that, and if you have footage in, and maybe, because I don't really see drones in the area I'm in. If you see drones and if you see them dropping stuff, if you have footage, put a link in the comment sections below to your channel where you posted the video or, you know, basically, it's jackson2447.gmail.com, you send the video link to email, but it's crazy because this is what we're dealing with now and the whole system is already on the switch phase and people just kind of just forgot about all the whole Big Brother surveillance spying networks. Now, I want to go back. This is the drone sur surveillance or the autonomous drone airport that's pretty much coming. Now, if I read down into this a little bit more about these fusion systems, uh, it says Arthur Holland, Michael's a senior fellow at Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs, and he was given a tour of a fusion system that is used in a city called Citigraph. He clicked investigate Citigraph, go to work on the reporter, so the software runs on. Uh, Gentech calls a correlation engine a suit of algorithms that 
trawl through a city's historical police records and live sensor feeds, looking for patterns and connections. Seconds later, a long list of possible leads appeared on screen, including a lineup of individuals previously arrested in neighborhood for violent crimes, home addresses, parolees living nearby. Like, they literally can access all that with these fusion systems. This is another occasion Arthur Michael got the opportunity to test out a fusion system Microsoft had built for New York City. So they already got the fusion systems, you see what I'm saying? So that's where we're at. They're spying eyes everywhere, and now they share a brain. Literally share a brain because they didn't get the data putting the human cells in the freaking microchips for AI learning. So if they're telling you they're doing it, they're already doing it. You know, if they basically said they're about to do it, then they're probably working on it. And this is something if you look up the Invention Act of Secrecy, you can find out a lot about what I'm talking about here. So that's the report here we wanted to put out. And somebody says, you notice them using satellites to track you, can't wait to tell you what we found. And somebody else says, I was sent footage from Houston, Texas, drone flying over. Yeah, get some get some footage and then we need to do a zoom in on this and see if particles is being dropped upon us because that's another thing that could symbolize why we're dealing with this these networks, these quantum networks that basically are formulated through the AI system and then it's always in live time sending data back as we're just interacting in our environment on an everyday basis. That sounds crazy, but literally that's what's going on. So as we said, we need to focus our energy on the energetic field to then balance ourselves against this battle, against what's being put in front of us. And this, this whole agenda that we're dealing with here has to do with the human potential versus the robot, the AI, versus the fallen ones, versus you know everything else that we've been dealing with for years. So that's why we need to line up and get right. We need to spend more time in nature. We need to spend more time you know, meditating, doing whatever we can to prepare ourselves and raise ourselves higher in these moments. Because we're definitely going to need it. You can't just be a physical person thinking that you're going to beat these battles. So, D-Wave is the cloud. Yeah, D-Wave. I haven't talked about D-Wave in a long time. I have to get back into that. So thanks for tuning in. Please, everybody, if you can do a favor, while you're live right now, Place a thumbs up on this video. Uh, share the video out. Let's see what other people know about the drones dropping different particles in the sky. Uh, and also, if you can share it out in your community feed or wherever you can right now so people can know about this and know about the network that we're in. And we need to have a possible plan because when the day comes when we have to exodus all this stuff, will we be able to exodus is the question because if we stay in this grid for pretty much too much longer it's probably going to be our fault that we got trapped in it so we don't want to get to that level but we also want to how can you get around something like this that's the question how can you get around something like that so thanks for tuning in everybody it's a live report and uh, we'll have more coming pretty much monday around 12 30 to 1 p.m arizona